My name is Richard Long, private investigator and former policeman. Well, I didn't mean to kill this man, Morton Baldacci, I can't say that I feel guilty. At least, not as guilty as I usually do when someone dies. Morton was scum, a dirty, extorting, blackmailing piece of crap. I know it was morally wrong and the blood sloshing in the bag makes me feel sick, but intellectually, I know I've done the world good by relieving its dead weight. Too bad my stomach hasn't figured that one out yet. Evening, Donnie. Didn't expect to see you here. In the mood for a little PI chat? Sure, but I didn't think you were one for scenery. I'm not, normally. It's just one of those days. I understand. So, why are you looking at that lighthouse? You ever read The Great Gatsby? Yeah. It's not like I remember much, though. In the book, there's a green lighthouse much like that one over there. It, it symbolized Gatsby's hopes and dreams. Back in the uh, 11th grade, I thought it was such a hot shot by figuring that one out. On okay, I get it now. But you're gonna need a lot more than hope. I've gotten this far, and I have a lot more. But the truth being on your side is probably a large asset. Don't you agree? It doesn't matter. We've got the evidence to convict you. Now all we need is you. Everyone knows you were working on the Baldacci case. Everyone knows he's dead. And any half-educated redneck who still thinks the sun revolves around the earth knows it's you. I'd prefer if we didn't bring your mother into this. I have the evidence to convict you. No, you don't. Because if you did, you would have taken me in already. It's not my call. Even if it was, I wouldn't. Why not? Even, even if you killed a man, Rich, I wouldn't forget our old times, back on the force. You know I'm as innocent as a newborn baby, but you're telling me that even if I run, you won't stop me? I don't know if I could, Rich. Anyway, if you did run and I lost you, you'd get caught squirming like a cat in a bowl of soup. Why are you doing all of this? Because I enjoy a good chase. Even though we're on opposite sides, remember, we're still friends. That line is starting to blur. So are you gonna run or come quietly? I think I'll just keep staring at that green light. Cut the sentimental crap, Richard. I'll never understand why you read that stuff. And I'll never understand why you're so obsessed with chloroform. Listen, if you're so innocent, you wouldn't mind a detective coming to search your apartment. Go right ahead. It's not like I have any skeletons hidden in my closet. Besides, I always enjoy a chat with another investigator. All this talk of murder is making me hungry. I'm gonna go get some pie. Donnie called. He's coming through with his threat to send some washed up cop to check me out. Too bad for him, I did a thorough job cleaning up the mess. Quitting has been hard for me. 
The fake cigarettes just don't seem to give me the same feeling. Yet, I just don't want to go back. It is said that a man who enjoys his job is a lucky man indeed. I am an extremely lucky man. My name is Howard Whitfer, and I have my steps. Step one, put your mask on. Step two, preliminary impressions. Guilty as a dog with its tail between his legs. Yesterday at three in the afternoon, police found the body of Morton Baldacci. He appeared to have been killed via the impact of something flat to the head. Maybe a floor, maybe a table, maybe a frying pan. Plus there were a dozen of smaller injuries all over his body. Donnie tells me that back when Rich was on the force, he was famous for his bad cop routine. My guess is that Richard got pissed off while interrogating him and splat. But all that's just a guess. A lucky man's guess. Despite how enjoyable this is, Mr. Whitfer, I don't have all night. Let's get down to business. So Donnie says, no, not that one, the other one. Oh, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I'll get that, I'll get, I'll get the floor. So Mr. Long, why is it that one of your pant legs is clean so nicely, while the other one isn't quite so sharp? It's almost as if there's something you wanted to get off one of the pant legs very, very badly. I think let's go take a look at the basement now. Sure. Don't think I can't see those shifty eyes, Mr. Whitfer. You think you're so smart. All you are is just a clown in a suit. It's a nice suit you got there, Mr. Long. Have any more like it? No, this is actually the only one I have. as a politician's heart in here. You got that right. Better go get a flashlight. Yeah. What was that? Mouse trap. I'm bleeding pretty bad. Oh, crap. I left my bag upstairs. Can you go get it? I gotta even get my help from my car. It's fine. I am a very lucky man, Mr. Long. And I am so much more lucky than you.
Donnie, it's me. Your man. He's trying to frame me. Get him to uh, Nelson Park. I'll prove that he tried to frame me. Thanks a lot. I owe you one. Donnie sent him. So he'll go back. I am not going to the chair. I'll make both of them wear bullets in their heads before they send me away. Cut your private investigator trying to plant blood in my apartment. I caught him and he ran. Will he be here? Talked to him a minute ago. He gave me a different story. Obviously he did. Does he know I'm here? Of course not. He'll be here in a minute, and when he is, we'll settle this like gentlemen. I'm lost in the night, holding. Donnie Sanders, Private Eye. I'm at the park, Donnie. Has Richard talked to you? Yeah, we talked quite a bit, actually. Good. Then hand the phone to Mr. Long. It's for you. Hello? Do you know how you got there before me, Mr. Long? It's pretty easy racing me when I take a detour to my apartment to get my gun and hide in the shadows until my sights are lined up with your head. You planned this, Donnie, didn't you? You always plan. Do you expect me to go along with this like a toddler holding his daddy's hand? So what'd he say? I have a gun in my pocket, Donnie. I will shoot if you move. You actually think I care about Donnie? No. Donnie! I don't get much free time. Whenever I do, I'm either going to my favorite bakery or out with a lady friend of mine. But ever since the Baldacci case, I felt drawn to that green light again. Not that it holds significance. Richard proved his beliefs were childish. This is one of those stories that doesn't have a moral. To me, it means absolutely nothing. 